Hey YouTube, it's Beautifully Unique, aka UAB Girl 205. I'm sorry, my hair is itching, y'all. Y'all know how that goes. So, I'm coming at you all. This is not, I did a face of the day video. That'll probably upload after this because, I don't know, it all depends on how I'm feeling. And how long I decide to rant on this video. So, I am going to give my thoughts on, um... Yeah, there's a video going around with this dude named Lil Reese. I, I don't know who the hell he is. I really don't. And at this point, I really don't care. Personally, think he should get stomped in the throat. Um, this video of him stomping a chick out. And, um, like, on my Twitter account, you know, there's a whole lot of... This, the whole thing has brought out, like, a lot of people's, like, really... Let's just excuse my French. It shows how many people ain't shit. Point blank. In my opinion, this video is not the same as the bus driver incident. Because in the bus driver incident, I really do. I'm sorry. You spit and you hit somebody. You deserve it. Okay. I don't really care. That's just me. I think I do think some women ask to be hit. That's just. I don't care how many people come in and say, oh, that's wrong. But no. Some of us have these, yeah, we have these mentalities where we're a woman and we're going to do whatever we want to do. But you know what? When I get hit, oh, you shouldn't hit me because I'm a woman. Well, then sometimes, you know, you don't hit people. You don't put your hands on other people or whatever. Um, so this video, there's a chick. And also, why are people videotape stuff like this? Like, why are people videotaping fights now? What, what happened to where now? We're just going to start videotaping, like, real jacked up shit that's happening to people. I'm looking at my shoes in the background. I'm trying to figure out what shoe that is that's just stuck up there, like, oh, yeah, I know what shoe that is now. It was, I could see it. I'm looking at myself right on the computer, so, yeah, whatever. Um, but, like, why, why are we doing that? that? That's issue number one. Number two. If you come into someone's house and you are uninvited and they tell you to get out because you were invited, how does that warrant you stopping her out? I mean, and this is just like from my college days I've, and when my friends have thrown parties and like the big college, um, like campus apartments, people that are in college know what I'm talking about. Most, if you, if you live in a city that's a college city that has a major college there, you have apartments that are just solely meant for people that are in college technically you know people want money and you can go to no shade to Remington College or any of these little ITT schools stuff like that but hell you could say you're a student there and you move in and yeah that's how that goes so I mean I've been at parties like that where people go in and out like you don't even know who these people are like they, they hear you're having a party and they just come and walk into your damn house so why is it okay for her I just don't understand. Like, folks are saying that she ran her mouth. She didn't do anything wrong to me. If I tell you to get the hell out of my damn apartment, you need to get the hell out. And if you don't want to get out, okay, then let me start to just get up and make you go. I, personally, I don't see what's wrong with that. I don't think she hit him. She didn't put her hands on him until he put his hands on her. So, you know, stuff like that infuriates me because I wish a bitch would do that to me. And that's just real deal shit. Like, I wish a motherfucker would because your ass would not be walking out. That's just that. If you stomp my ass out like that, you best believe I'm going in the kitchen, getting a knife, gun, something. That's just, that's just me. And for so many people to be like, well, he's not all that blame. He needs to, you know, women need to learn how not, because she ran up at the mouth. Really? Like, I don't know what's wrong with people these days. Like, that whole situation to me, like, we real, we real did have problems. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm 25. I'll be 26 in a couple of weeks. I'm kind of sad about that. But I mean, like, you have to look at stuff like that. And people, like, who are your parents? Who, who told you that it's okay? Because I might say something that you don't like that you can just go ahead and bust me in my face. Like you playing Street Fighter combos in real life, and and that is okay. Bus driver, no. I mean, Grant, she, no. She deserved it. I don't care. You do not hit, you don't punch somebody while you're driving and spit on them. Spitting is like the rudest thing you can do. That For me, spitting, you can spit on me and that's just going to warn a knockout right there. Because that's nasty. That, like, 
when you spit on somebody, they're showing that you think they're beneath you. So, no. To me, that's, that's two different things. She provoked him in so many ways. You got, I mean, you're sitting here. I, I don't know the premise behind the start of the video, but from the video on the uppercut that she got, you know, which I think she wholeheartedly deserved. She earned that. That's, that's not the same thing. You're on a public transportation bus. Somebody is driving numerous other people. What if she would have hit him and he would have raped and then she he would have killed all those people? You know what I mean? Like, to me, that's... Granted, he didn't have to, like, snatch her little ponytail up and stuff like that after that one uppercut. Because I'm not going to lie. I've never seen anybody hit somebody with so much force before. Like, he took every anger that he had from every disgruntled person that he had encountered while doing driving that bus. And he took it out on her ass. So, you know... I, I, I don't feel for her. But this chick, yes, I feel for her. Um, depending on how I feel, I might put a link down below. Um, I really don't put World Star on my computer. No, I look at the stuff. I, when I look at it, I'll be on my phone. But it's a world. If you don't, you can Google it. It's on World Star Hip Hop. World Star Hip Hop, he's stomping the chick out. Um, he doesn't have any remorse for her because he's like his old, why people bringing up old stuff. That's trifling, like, people like that need to be beat to sleep. And for you to sit there, for so many people, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to shade it. I don't care. This is my station. You don't like what I'm saying? You can go click off. You can click the little X button up there, wherever it's at. Um, but it, it's so many black dudes that's like, well, she shouldn't have ran off at the mouth. And, oh, why is this wrong? And. She should, you know, women shouldn't sit there. It's not his blame. He, she shouldn't have did that. She shouldn't have touched him. Y'all ain't shit. That, and I hope none of you who think that's okay have daughters. Because the same way, I'm not even going to get into the other stuff that was happening on my Twitter. Because, I mean, my, I don't know, black dudes been really showing their asses. These, like, 20, 21 to, like, 28 or something like that. Some, they, they, they real special. They real, real. If y'all, mm, they real special. They're real, real special. Is all I'm going to say. Oh, or, excuse me, the one. No, they're real special. I can't even say the ones down south. You got a couple of them that got, like, they reel themselves back into reality. But a lot of shit that you say and you put out there in the air and you wonder why people coming at you like that. You know, that's, that's, that's just me. I'm not even going to go into the other aspects. But this, this stuff right here, like, for real, if you have, like, daughters, I feel for them. Because... If they decide that they're going to tell somebody to get out their spot, you're perfectly okay with his ass molly whopping her upside the head and stomping the shit out of her. That's what you told me. Like, and I don't care if any of them come on here and say, oh, no, that's not right. But no. Because for you to sit here and say, no. Nah. No. Nah. And you're, you're, when people tell you, like, what if that was your sister or, like, your mom or something like that, and your reaction is, oh, they wouldn't hang out with them. And I don't know, Chicago's on some other bullshit, too. That's the other thing. Chicago need, y'all need to chill the fuck out. Because y'all really and truly, like, I don't know what it is. And it's cold. Like, it's cold up there. Why y'all wild it out like that? Like, we don't even, I, I live in the Gulf Coast, and it's hot as fuck down here. It's hot. Y'all get a little bit of heat, and y'all just start shooting people up and shit. Like, but my video is going on to be nine minutes. I've done my rant on this. Still think it's trash. Still think um, we, as a younger generation, we do really and truly need to look at things. Like, we do. We everybody needs to look at how they react. They so they, people need to learn how to treat each other with respect. Because I think that whole idea of treating people with respect has gone with our generation. We don't we don't give a fuck. You see numerous videos of us on TV of cursing out, jumping on damn counters at Burger King, cursing people out, thinking you could just talk to people any kind of way. And I mean and people react because people get tired of this shit. That's that's what it, it really is. Like people do get tired of this shit. And what's gonna end up happening, we're gonna see a bunch of these videos come up and then it's gonna be a video where your ass is gonna get shot. And then it's gonna be ooh you're gonna be on an episode of fucking snapped. That's what's going to end up happening. You're going to be on episode of Snapped. And then people are going to be like, well, he was whooping her ass. You know, people, people have to, folks got to, we got to start thinking about treating people with respect. Like, we, I don't know, folks weren't raised right. It's so many people that clearly your parents have no manners. 
because if they did, you wouldn't be acting like how you are. I don't care who gets offended by this, but if you feel that that shit is okay, your folks don't have no class. That's just that. You don't. Your folks didn't have any class. They didn't have any standards when they raised you. You might as well have been raised by a pack of wolves because that's, that's never okay to do something like that. You know? Like, no. Even though the chick warranted the uppercut, he could have stopped at the uppercut. He didn't have to do. Granted, I do agree with him throwing her ass off the bus and throwing her shit off the bus, but he shouldn't have been yanking her point. You know, that's a little bit far. But she did, you know, like I say. Old girl getting stomped out because she told you to get out. Nah, y'all gotta. We gotta do better. We we definitely like have to do better as a society as a whole. And the re and why we find shit like this entertaining. Because people are putting it, they, they're only recording it because they know people are going to watch it. Anyways, my video is 11 minutes long. I'll be over that. So I'm going to stop that and um, let me know what you think below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this and stuff like that. It's just me because I just felt like I had to rant and I get irritated. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. And um, until next time, you know, you stay beautiful and unique. Bye.